In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the concept of monk mode. So if you don't know what monk mode is, it's basically when, it's a kind of popular self-improvement world, but it's like when someone cuts out all distraction and gets a certain task done in a certain amount of time. So a lot of people have taken like the new year or whatever, and they challenge themselves and they're like for three months or six months or whatever, they will not use social media, they will not hang out with anyone, and they will simply work on a task and get that done and get it done very well. I don't fully agree with monk mode. I think there are very positive aspects about it, but there's also some very negative aspects about it. So I think that the concept is good, but people take it too far. So if you are considering doing monk mode, I would highly suggest that you do not cut out all your friends in your life because friends should enhance your life and actually make your work better. And your life is not about doing work. It's not about the grind. Like your life is so much bigger than that. A lot of people get trapped in this mindset of like, oh, I just have to work and do this and like be on my own time and blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, your life is a lot broader than that. And the most important things in life probably are spending time with other people and cutting out your friends is only gonna hurt that for you. My suggestion is if you are gonna do some form of monk mode, you should maybe make a list of the people in your life and some of them might not be serving you. Some of them might just be holding you back. You might not even like them at all. You know, they might be doing things that you don't like to do and they kind of drag you in to that or they might just be really annoying. Like, it's just how it is, you know? You can just, you can distance yourself from those people. I would not burn any bridges. I think burning bridges with people is not very smart. If you guys want me to make a video on why that's not a good idea, let me know in the comments. If you select the few people to just kind of distance yourself from, then other people that you can kind of like focus in on those people and just have like a few close friends, maybe even just like one super close friend that you can actually see consistently because you need a consistent person in your life. It's super important. So that's what I would do. And then in terms of like getting rid of other distractions that you can kind of do to however you want. Like if you want to get rid of social media fully, do that. I probably wouldn't, but like it's most likely a, a good idea. And then I would be very specific about what you're trying to achieve. So if you go into the whole monk mode idea and you don't have a specific goal in mind, that's one clear goal and you're trying to do a bunch of different things, you're gonna waste your time. If you have one clear goal, you're gonna be able to get that done more effectively than if you have multiple things. So if you're gonna say, oh, I wanna make a business, what 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 does that mean? That means absolutely nothing. You have to be like, oh, I'm gonna do this thing very consistently. Like for YouTube, I'm going to post one video a day for a month instead of being like, I'm gonna have 50,000 subscribers because 50,000 subscribers is you could do so many things to try and get 50,000 subscribers, but if you're not doing one specific thing, you're just gonna kind of like spin your tires and do nothing. So to recap, three things from monk mode. Don't cut off all your friends and lose your entire social life. That is stupid. Then remove distractions in your life, but you don't have to be crazy extreme. And then the last one, be focused on a specific goal. So overall, monk mode can be a good idea, but don't go too extreme with it because it can be more damaging if you do. So that's that's just my take on monk mode. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you want to see in the next one.